For this trip, we are heading to Arkansas's Hot Springs National Park. We're going to stop and stay a night in Memphis along the way. This trip was in February of 2021, as businesses were just starting to open back up, so the streets were pretty quiet because nothing was really going on. We stayed at the Downtown Comfort Inn, and we were able to walk over to Beale Street. We ate at the Blue City Cafe, where of course we had to try some famous Memphis barbecue. We walked back to the hotel along the same route as the Main Street trolley, which was a nice little area. One thing that I think companies relied too much upon was excusing poor service with the overused preface of quote unquote due to COVID. I saw a lot of really poorly put together hotel breakfast, even when the hotel advertised free full breakfast. This Comfort Inn definitely gave one of the better efforts with their breakfast provisions during this time, so I really appreciated that. I know this seems like a silly thing to critique, but it was just getting so frustrating how many companies were using COVID as an excuse for poor service. So I want to give credit where credit is due. The next morning, we got back on the road headed to Hot Springs. It's about a three hour drive from Memphis. It's kind of difficult to distinguish where the actual park starts. This park isn't really based on natural features as much as most of the other parks. For example, you wouldn't come here solely for hiking. Of course, it's meant to preserve the natural features of the hot springs themselves, but other than that, it's not very naturalistic. There is a little viewpoint where you can go to an observation tower for about eight bucks. I skipped out on this because the views here are not the most notable. They're not bad, it's just that we have similar, if not better, views in Tennessee. Either way, since we're already here, it's still worth the look, just from the free viewpoints below. We drove back into town where the more interesting features of this park are, in my opinion. Basically, Bathhouse Row. There's a free parking garage as well, which is nice. to actually get a feel of the hot, fresh spring water. It is hot. <laughs> it looks like it is easy. It's not too hot though, it feels good. Oh, <laughs> are you gonna touch it? <laughs> wow. Bathhouse Row is pretty cool. The architecture of each of the buildings is vintage but varied with unique styles. There are two functioning bathhouses if you wish to soak in the thermal springs, the Quapaw and Buckstaff bathhouses. We opted not to do that on this trip, but maybe next time. You unfortunately cannot submerge in any of the outdoor springs. They are really just for viewing.
For lunch, we ate at Superior Bathhouse Brewery, which was formerly a functioning bathhouse from 1916 to 1983. This restaurant and many others are dog friendly. This, in my opinion, is one of the best things about this park. We started off with one of their famous root beer floats. Euro, famous Reuben, tomato bits, and the view. <laughs> After lunch, we went to get our souvenir water before we head home. Getting out of here just in time for the rain. Half a day in hot springs.